Google Sheets is a very useful application. It is a free app from Google and it is a competitor of Microsoft Excel. There are some advantages of using Google Sheets. For example, you don't have to worry about saving your work. You can collaborate with your team members. However, you have to be connected with internet while using Google Sheets. In this video, I'm going to show you a method that you can use to work on Google Sheets offline. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. Now in order to work on Google Sheets offline, you have to do a few things while you are connected with the internet. And you also have to download a Chrome extension by Google. And now I will jump on my computer and I will show you the complete process of working on Google Sheets offline. Now I have opened one of my Google Sheets file and if you want to work offline you need to install a Google Chrome extension. So let me show you how you can see what Google Chrome extensions you have already installed. Simply click on this sign and you have to be using Google Chrome browser for this and then you click on manage extensions and this is the extension called google docs offline you need this extension in order to use google docs without connecting to the internet i have already installed this extension but i have currently disabled it if you don't have this extension and you try to use this google sheet offline you will see a message and let's say I want to use this offline. So first I click on file and then I have to click on this make available offline. And if I click on this, it will show me this message extension needed. And it will show me this message to make this document available offline, install the docs offline Chrome extension. And then you simply click on install and it will install the extension for you. But I will simply enable this Chrome extension and go back to my Google Sheet and I click on file and I click on make available offline and I will see this message document now available offline. But now the second question is when there is no internet, how will I reach on this document? And for that, I need to create a shortcut, a shortcut for Google Sheet. And to do that, you click on these three dots and then more tools and then you click on create shortcut and then you can give this shortcut a name and simply click on create and now if i click on this application area i can see this sheets shortcut but before i click on that i want to disconnect my internet so currently i am connected so i change this switch and now i have no internet again i click on applications and now i click on sheets let me maximize this i can see that this file has this icon which shows me that this file is available offline while other files are not available. And if I click on these three dots, available offline switch is on for this file while for other files we don't have this switch on. And now as you can see that I am not connected with the internet but if I click on this file, I can edit this file. However, I will see this working offline. And if I click on that, it will show me this message that this document is available offline and my changes are currently saved on this device. But these changes will be saved to my Google Drive when I connect to the internet. And later anytime when you connect to the internet, your changes will be saved to your Google Drive, which is a cloud storage. And while offline, I can still use all formulas. For example, as you can see that when I start typing any formula, I can still use those formulas while I am working offline. And this is very cool because internet is not available all the time. And if you make your Google Docs, Google Sheets or Google Slides file available offline, you can still work on them 
and as soon as you connect to the internet all of your changes will be saved to the cloud storage on your google drive that is it for today so i hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time